Hi guys, welcome to Fanta Fishing. Today I'm with Mike. Um, right. You'll probably remember him from the barbel video. Uh, but today we're on a, a local stretch targeting the chub. Now, I've never really, I've targeted chub once. Um, I've had them, but not by design. Um, PB of £3.6. So when I said to Mike that I fancied head, heading out and hitting some big chub, he said he knew the spot. So he's going to take me down today. I'm going to go along all these little secret spots where he's caught big chub Plenty in the past. Of. And uh, hopefully, he, he's promised me a PB, so yeah. hopefully I can get amongst the PB. You'll get a PB, 100%. Um, I mean, this river holds chubs about probably seven pounds, we reckon. Yeah. From what we see. Um, plenty of fours, plenty of good threes as well, so hopefully we'll get amongst some of those. So the tactic today is going to be free lined worms or, or ledger and meat, and uh, the rod I'm using is the 34 Corum all round a rod, which is in the tree. Um, one pound and a quarter test curve, little uh, Nash, little baby pit reel, um, six pound line all the way through. And then I've just got a little stop up the line with a bit of two pound line coming off of it, which I can attach some SSG shot to. Um, I can take them off and put them on as, I, as and when I please. So when I'm free lining, the shot are off. When I'm ledgering, I just pinch two SSG on there. It's a little like weak link, so if it got snagged, it'd just snap off or the, or the, uh, the shot would pull off. So. We're going to get out. We've got a couple of spots to hit straight away, but we've got plenty of different stretches to hit today. Um, I think I've got four, four different stretches in a mill pool. So let's get on because uh, it's early morning now. It's going to be a hot one today. So um, yeah, let's go. Lower it slowly. Eh? Slowly. Let, let the bad arm off and just let that worm drift. There's a chub looking at it. I'm going to tell you when to hit it, alright? It's, it's in, it's in, strike, strike! Right, his first chub of the day, Matt's in. He's got a nice chub on down there. Don't know how we're gonna land it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got, we've got a long net, so don't worry about that. Right, just wanted to get a quick bit of footage for the first cast of the day. I'm gonna go and set up my net. Right, so we've been fishing about, what, two minutes? Less Come than that. Come down to a little uh, bridge spot, flipped a little lobworm over, and it's the first chub of the day. Uh, £2.14, um, but beautiful bronze colours on it and uh, yeah, exciting scrap under a bridge. So uh, I'm well happy with how the session started for today's chub session. And hopefully there's much more to come and uh, even a chance of some crackers that live in this stretch. Certainly a lot bigger ones, isn't there? We're getting released back. And he's gone. Right, so I'm just going down to a little spot now. It's like a one, one shot, one opportunity area. So I can't even talk when I get down there, but a little overgrown bush area. Um, we've just seen a couple of decent chubs just swimming through the swim, so armed with a worm, straight through, one flick, and see if we can uh, hook one of them. Stayed in the same spot but switched tactic. Matt's hooked one pretty much instantly. Um, as you can see, he's just into a fish now. It seems like a good chub. We've just seen probably what was a possible six pounder swim past, so hopefully he's hooked into that. Don't it's giving him a right see. scrap underneath this margin. About the same size as the first one, I think, mate. Oh, he's in the net. Thank God for that. Oh no, that's a bigger chub, mate. Short and fat. Yeah, short and fat. Yeah. But there she is, and a new PB at four pounds. Proper chunky chub. Uh, a few inches longer, and it would have been serious uh, contender for a five pounder, I think. But yeah, 
enjoyed the bit of lunch and mate the worm weren't doing it we were sneaking around down in the spot and uh, just, they just didn't want the worm so I quickly switched over to a bit of lunch and meat on a link ledger which I'll show you a bit later dropped it into the spot, left the rod down and creeped back up the bank and uh, the tip just smashed round and uh, got a nice little tussle from this but I'm well happy with that uh, Mike said he'd take me down here today and hopefully find me a PB and he's he paid off in the first hour so second fish, it's going to be a brilliant day I think going to grab some steels, release him and then get on to the next spot hopefully Mike can have a couple today as well because I'm hogging all the spots Quality pucker, fish mate. mate, pucker pucker looking fish. Right, so we're just walking down to the next spot now. That's a little weir pool, so uh, we haven't got the gear with us. We're gonna go and scope it out first. Um, see if there's anything moving about, or even if it's fishable. Not been down here in um, about a year, have you? No, I suppose last time I've come with you. Um, so, uh, we'll have a look what it's like. And then if it is worth a go, we'll get the rods out and uh, have a little dabble. Right, so, um, We've just walked up, well, we just parked up the river a bit further on another spot that I know. And uh, see a small chub cruising along the river, flicked a worm in front of him and he's taking it straight away. So, spot number three, fish number three. Hopefully if it goes in the net. I've actually just seen another fish as well, so we might have another chance just in the swim just slightly further up as well. Nice bronze one. Oh, he's quite big as well, he's bigger than I thought. So here's a uh, third fish of the session. Real nice colouring in this river. The river's gin clear and as you can see it's very, very weedy. So another beautiful bronze chevin. This one fell to the worm free lined. Come in at £3.10, another one with a little bit of a droopy belly on it, but it didn't look that big in the water. Oh, we saw it and thought, it's a chub, I'm gonna flick a, a bait at it, but uh, quite surprised when it when it swung around at £3.10, but Another lovely fish, and uh, had I not just caught the four pounder, this would have beaten my previous PB. So, over the moon, we've been fishing not very long at all. Well, rods haven't been in the water very long, we're just applying stalking tactics constantly and uh, sight fishing, purely sight fishing. And if you can get in the right spots at the right time and present a bait correctly, you're going to catch them. So, uh, we're slipping back and get on to the next spot, Mike. Yeah, mate. Pucker, mate. Beautiful little fish, this one, isn't it? As soon as that hit the water, mate, that chub went straight for it. There's another one coming from the right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this Do <laughs> <laughs> I saw him take it, it like flashed in the water. Yeah, I saw it. I wasn't sure whether he had Bosh. it in his mouth or not. Well done, mate. That's only a little one, isn't it? Right, we just stopped off uh, another little spot that we know. It's about a third stretch we fish now. Saw a couple of small chub, nothing big here, but uh, thought we'd have a quick flick first cast with that in. Nice little uh, bronzy coloured one. Probably about a pound. Lovely. On the light gear as well. Yeah, light gear. It's fun. Off he goes. It's tiny compared to the ones we were looking at earlier. Right, guys, so I'm back home now. Um, there was no more action, really. Um, had a couple of chub turn their nose up to the worms, but um, it was a great morning's fishing. Uh, we went out to look at a few other little spots as well, which was. Um, bit of an adventure, uh, covered in stinging nettle uh, stings and bites and all sorts, red ants nests and going through rivers uh, bare feet but um, yeah there's potentially a few little spots for the future but uh, as always thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it again not done any chub fishing but I'm very keen to have another go really happy with how the day went um, next time I'm going to be targeting them on lures so um, hopefully I can get some footage of that um, and yeah, keep your eyes peeled for them in the future. Um, if you liked what you saw, then obviously it goes a long way and I appreciate the thumbs up, plenty of comments, and um, if you're not already a subscriber, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Um, it's been a pleasure.